In this video, we will look into the strategy behind using T flip flop to design a counter. So, let's say we want to design a 3 bit up counter, 3 bit binary up counter. So, it goes like this 3 bit 011 100 101 110 and then 111. These are the 3 bits. So, Q1, Q2, Q3. Now we want to use a T flip flop. If we recall T flip flop clock here and then Q, if T is 0 and when the clock comes, output is no change. And if T is 1, when the clock comes, output toggles. So if we make the input T as 1, then output will change, keep changing with each of the each each clock basically. So we will need three T flip flops here and we will see what input we are trying we are using a, we are making a synchronous uh, counter so all of the flip flops will have same clock let's do that and this is our T1 uh, one, sorry T2 Sorry, this one should be uh, Q1, Q2, Q3. That's I, how I have written. Let's write it this way. Q2, Q1 and Q0. Usually, usually that's what we do. So because this is the most significant and this is the least significant. So yeah, this will be T2, this will be T1 and this will be T0. Q2, Q1 and Q0 here. So again another color. So this is what we have. Now if we look at the most uh, least significant bit which is Q0, we can see that the bit is changing with each clock. It's always changing 0, 1 uh, every time with every with each clock it keeps changing. So we want it to toggle with each clock. So what we can do, we can write the input 1 here. We can give a uh, one logic here so basically we can give a 5 volts here basically that's what I'm trying to say so this is 1 fixed 1 t0 okay now look let's look at what is q1 q1 is toggling here it's again toggling here it's again toggling here and here it's again toggling because after this we will have this because it's a counter that will keep counting so we can see that this is toggling when Q0 is 1. So what we can do, we can connect Q0 as input and T1. We can do that. So when initially Q0 is 0, so this is getting the T1 flip-flop is getting 0 as input, so it's not toggling. But when here, at this point at this state q0 is 1 so the input at t1 here it is getting 1 so it's toggling and that's what's happening similarly and similarly it will happen here as well it will happen uh, here again and then finally here so this is where it's struggling it's struggling four times the the, basically the Q1 is toggling four times. Now if we look at the most significant bit Q2 we can see that it's toggling only here and here of course twice and that's happening when both of these Q1 and Q0 are 1. This is the only condition only when, when Q2 is changing. So we want T2 to be 1 only when both Q0 and Q1 are 1. So basically if we connect these two to an AND gate and then connect it back to here T2. So whenever unless both Q0 and Q1 are not 1, both of them are not 1, T2 will be 0 because the output here will be 0 because it's AND gate. 
so when only when both of them are one q1 and q0 only them only when both of these two are one then t2 will get a one as an input and only then it will toggle and this is what's happening here it's toggling here and here just twice so this is how we can get a counter using a t flip-flop we could make an um, make an asynchronous counter using uh, t flip-flop as well where the clock would be different so <clears throat> i will probably talk about that in another video not here this is where because the previous in the previous video i used d flip-flop to develop a day uh, design a gray code counter and that was also a synchronous counter but this is and so this is also a synchronous counter but we can use we can develop a, 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 an asynchronous counter using t flip-flop as well which i will do it in a different video maybe so yeah